Did you know that the fastest human typist on record hit 305 words per minute? That's impressive, but the AI tool I'm about to show you writes more than triple that speed, and it never needs coffee breaks or pep talks. AI doesn't get writer's block, it just gets busy, and I'm about to show you just how busy it can get. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting that AI can write a book in one prompt. Maybe in the future that'll be possible, but right now, I'm talking about how you can co-create with AI. And FYI, as a human co-creator, you'll need to take the lead, so if that intimidates you, make sure you stick around till the end of this video when I'll reveal my top novel writing resource recommendations for writing can't-put-downable books. Believe me, these are valuable gems I've read myself, and they were recommended to me by some of the most successful authors I know. Working together with AI, writing a book in one week is not just possible. It's something I think anyone can do right now. Some people even claim to be able to write a book in only one day. Just like writing the old-fashioned way varies greatly from writer to writer, though, productivity writing with an AI partner will vary from person to person, too. I can't tell you exactly how long it'll take you to write your book with AI. The only thing I am sure of is that it'll be a hell of a lot faster than writing alone, no matter where you are on the spectrum. So without further ado, let me show you the AI tool I've been using to help me write my novel. This is Novel Crafter. So first, I just want to give you a taste of what's possible with this tool, and then we'll get into how you can start a new novel from scratch, step by step. With Novel Crafter, I've been able to draft entire scenes, do quick line edits with one-click prompts, create my own custom prompts, and even get super detailed revision notes all with every LLM I've ever heard of. And that's just the fun AI stuff. You can actually write your entire novel yourself from scratch with this tool too, but we both know what you're here for. So I'm gonna make sure to give you your AI fix because when you log in for the first time, you won't see any of these options. Before you can use the AI functionality in Novel Crafter, you've gotta set up a connection. It's really easy and I'll show you how to do it in just a second, but first, I want to show you why this extra step is actually kind of cool. It gives you more flexibility over your content and your budget than any other AI tool I've seen yet. As you just saw, there's no shortage of models to choose from. Most AI tools don't let you choose which chatbot you get to create with. For example, I know that I'm talking to ChatGPT when accessing the AI coach in my vidIQ account. I can't change this. vidIQ pays ChatGPT, or... At least, I assume that's how that works. And I pay vidIQ to access some form of ChatGPT through their platform. Novel Crafter doesn't have any AI chatbot connected by default. Instead, you can create an open router account and choose from the many, many models they have available. I pay Novel Crafter about half of what I pay for a comparable all-in-one solution. And then I can pay as I go on Open Router for using whatever AI models I want. All I had to do was connect these tools once to get set up. And you may not know this, but those popular models like ChatGPT and Claude cost way more than many other just as good, if not better, alternatives. And Open Router even has a page where you can compare prices before you decide what models you want to use. I'm not going to lie, I haven't experimented with most of these models. Llama was the first one I found that could match my style, so I stuck with what was working for most of my time on Novel Crafter so far. Now, real quick, before I show you how to connect your accounts, if I'm losing you and this just seems too complicated to deal with, don't worry, because I have another, simpler, all-in-one AI solution for helping you write your novel that I'll share in an upcoming video. If you want to see that video next, give me a book emoji in the comments below. If you'd rather learn how to create a book cover with AI, leave an artist's palette instead. If both of those videos sound interesting to you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when those drop. So back to connecting your open router account to your Novel Crafter account. It's really easy. But it can be hard to find the right settings. Not this gear, or this one. Nope, not that one either. Click on your profile image and then go to AI Connections. Open Router is right there as a recommended connection. And if I weren't already connected, I could just click here to connect. The only thing you need from Open Router is your API key. You can find the keys option underneath your profile picture. Then just create a key. P 
paste that into Novel Crafter and you should be good to go. You can even see how much money I've spent. Only 17 cents since I started playing around. And once you're connected, you should be ready to write with AI. Let's set up a novel real quick, and then I'll show you how your new AI partner can give you a jump start when you get stuck. And after that, I'll share two ways I've used Novel Crafter to help me make game-changing revisions to my text. Click here to create a new novel. Then you can give it a title, change your name or pen name, and add it to a new or existing series. You'll automatically start in the plan section. This is where you can create or import an outline. I'm going to be honest, though. I think this section could be better. There's a lot you can do here, but it all seems too complicated to me, and I've spent way too much time trying to get things the way I want them to be. And this is the only place where there's no AI help. So if you're like me and plotting is something you really need help with, ChatGPT might be a better option. Or you can head into the chat tab within Novel Crafter to ask for help with your outline. But we'll get back to what else you can do in this chat tab in just a little bit. Anyway, after my outline is ready, I'll use the Create from Outline button to paste it in. You can kind of preview how your outline is showing up with this tab over here, but for me, it took a little trial and error to get the output I was aiming for. Now we can switch to the right panel where, you guessed it, we'll be writing. So this is a glimpse of how things look when you've got an outline. The outline text shows up to the side over here. Before we do any writing, I want to show you my favorite thing about Novel Crafter, the codex. This is where we can log everything about our book that AI needs to know to maintain consistency. Characters, settings, special items, lore, and anything else you can think of. I'll just add a couple of characters I had ChatGPT generate for this example. We've got Alaric, a fey prince that's trapped in the mortal realm. He speaks with a proper British accent and he doesn't use contractions. And that's probably something you don't want to forget to add if you plan on using AI to write dialogue. Always describe your character's speech as best you can to get the best results. Our other character, Lexi, speaks with an American accent, uses slang, and likes to drop F-bombs. Let's see what we can get with just this basic info. I'm going to type a single forward slash to bring up the command prompts, and I'll click on scene beat to bring up a prompt box. Alaric and Lexi crash into each other and have a hilarious dispute. Oh, this warning here says that there's no POV set, so let me show you how to fix that. Here in your settings for this individual book, which was all those other setting buttons I told you not to click on before, you can set your tense, point of view, language, and you can even select the main character here if you want to. But because this is a romance novel, I'm not actually going to do that because the point of view would likely rotate back and forth between the two main characters. Okay. Back to writing. Let's do a quick little test. We've got our prompt already, so let's generate prose. I'm going to use my go-to llama model here. And just like that, the AI is off and running. But honestly, I wouldn't use more than maybe the first sentence here because it goes off the rails pretty quickly. That's okay though. I'll show you how to get much better results in just a bit. But first, let's do a little line editing. Let's say I wanted to rephrase this. All I've got to do is highlight the text and all these options pop up. I just have to click rephrase and choose my model. If I don't like it, I can always retry it. If I still don't like it, all I've got to do is click discard. Now here, this character's dialogue isn't supposed to have contractions. I could edit this manually, or if I find myself having a lot of edits like this, I can make a custom option. So let me show you how to do that. Come down here to Prompts, and that's where you can find all the default prompts. All you have to do is clone one of these, and I'll go with the rephrase prompt since that's the closest to what I want to do. If you want to get really advanced, you can actually change the settings in each of these models, but I'll just leave those alone for now. The Clone button is up here. You can see that you've cloned it if the name here changes to Copy. And of course, you can rename it. I'll call this one Rephrase No Contractions. And I think I'll delete all these other models I'm not using right now to make it easier to find my favorites. Then I'll go into the Instructions tab to alter the prompt. Don't worry about all this code. The easiest thing to do is to only make edits to this prompt here. Whenever you're given text, expand any contractions to write out the entire words. 
And that's it. It auto-saves your prompt. So let's give it a try. I'm back on the right section. I'll highlight that first bit of dialogue. And you can see that my new custom prompt has popped up right here. When I click it, now there are only the two models I decided to keep. And with just one click, it edited this sentence and wrote out the entire contraction from your to you are. Here are some other ideas of custom prompts you can use from ChatGPT. And going through that with you just gave me another idea for a custom rephrase prompt I should have made weeks ago. Oh my god, it'll save so much time. Probably for you, too. But let's create that prompt over on the book I'm actually working on right now to show you what everything looks like when it's more fleshed out. This is my current work in progress. You can see the codex has a lot more entries with characters, objects, and even some lore. I've got 8,000-ish words so far, and what I've been doing is taking turns writing mostly with Llama. I generate a scene, I edit it, I write for a bit, and then whenever I get stuck, I can generate the next scene or even chat with a scene to generate ideas for how to move forward. Okay, let's create that custom prompt I wanted to show you. I'm constantly scrolling to get to my model of choice every time I want to generate a scene, so I'm just going to delete all the models I know I won't use. And I have a ChatGPT subscription, so there's no reason to pay for it here, too. But I hear Claude is really great for creative writing, and I want to make sure I can get to Llama without scrolling too far. Oh, and it looks like you can add models back in, too. Oh, there are a lot more here than there were in the default prompt. Hmm, I wouldn't mind giving Grok a try. I've heard decent things. Oh, and by the way, we're editing the scene beat command here, but we can do the same thing for the rewrite prompts, too, if we want to. And I probably will eventually, but you don't want to watch me do that three more times, so I'll just leave that as a suggestion in your custom prompt suggestion box. So let's test that out. I'm just going to pick a random place in my outline to start writing. Just type a forward slash to bring up the scene beat command. Now I can select my favorite models much faster. And why not? Let's see what Grok can do here. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. I didn't even write a prompt, just clicked Generate Prose. It's using this bit of my outline over here for context, which I'm sure is outdated since I've been making a lot of changes as I go. But the AI has all this information in the codex to reference as well. Which is why the first attempt I showed you in our example novel failed so horribly. It has barely any context to go on. Here, let me show you how my AI writing partner can write when it has context and a decent prompt. Okay, so this prompt is a bit of a ramble, but that's what I love. I can just sit here and ramble at the AI, and it'll just help me dive into my next scene. This is definitely off to a great start. This dialogue needs some quotes. You can immediately edit any of this as you go, by the way, even before you've accepted it. This bit here needs to be revised. I think he needs a stronger reason to give Piper the gift. It seems a bit random. And we need some more quotes down here. Usually, the farther down I get, the more work it needs, so I'll probably revise a lot of this, too. That may take me a while, but that's how my workflow is going at the moment. It's a new workflow, and I'm still figuring it out, but... It's all fun. Now, what about when I get stuck and I don't know where the next scene is going? Or there's a bit of missing information I need to figure out? Well, then I just head on over to the chat tab. And that's where I can ask for help. The cool part, the part that makes this chat window different from using any of these models natively, is that you can select specific chapters or scenes in your novel for context. This not only saves you from having to copy and paste passages into all of your prompts, but it saves you money, too. You could reference your entire book if you want to, but the more your AI assistant has to read before they respond, the more money you'll end up spending. So make sure to choose as little of your book as is necessary here to save on tokens. Here are some examples of how I've used this feature to problem-solve plot holes in the past. And down here, you'll see what I think has been the biggest game-changer in my writing process so far. 
Oh, and feel free to pause the video if you want to use any of these prompts. You can adapt them however you want to make them work for your story. There aren't many people who can give me honest, constructive criticism, but I want my books to sell, so I appreciate just how honest and constructive AI can be. I edited my opening scene four times. You can see three of them right here. At some point, I asked ChatGPT for feedback, too. Here's the thing, though. A book is a big project, and there's no single prompt out there that's going to get you a publishable book in one click. You've got to take the reins and be the project leader. You've got to be willing to get in there and get your hands dirty. Commitment is one thing, and if you're still watching this, I'm going to say you've got that bit covered. But sometimes you can be all in at 110%, and all your effort will be for nothing if you don't know the basics of what makes a good story. So like I promised, here are some resources that'll help you master your storytelling skills in no time at all. Take Off Your Pants by Libby Hawker is all about how to outline your books for faster and better writing. Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody is another of my favorites, and you can check out their website for free resources too. It's amazing for teaching you about story structure, and if you're into script writing more than novel writing, the original Save the Cat book is all about screenwriting. And for selling your work, don't miss these books. Right to Market by Chris Fox is a quick read, but a necessary one if you actually want to make any money from your books. Seven Figure Fiction, How to Use Universal Fantasy to Sell Your Books to Anyone, well, the subtitle says it all. Oh, and you know how I just said there's no one-click solution to writing your book? Well, that's still true. For writing books, anyway. But there is a one-click solution to getting your book narrated. And if you're interested in learning how you can do that for free with AI, at least for now, you're going to want to watch this next video all the way to the end.